Alright, hey everybody. I'm back here. Um, I'm going to do a video of the review of the settings and features of the uh, Element Electronics TV. So, here's the remote. I'm going to uh, show you the buttons that you push to bring up those settings. First off, big red button, power. Turn it on. I've got right there, as you can see, the light turns blue when it's on. Starts up, says Element Electronics. It's an HDMI 2 right now. Uh, this is a 720p television, but I'm not really sure how it's um, supporting the 1080p HD right now. Okay, now. First off, you need to go... I'm going to go through the menu. You hit the menu button right there. Brings up this. And then you scroll with the arrows right here and select with enter. So, in video quality mode or video mode, whatever, you have picture. Whoops, excuse me, I moved it. Okay, picture, standard, and then you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, and the sharpness. They're all on 50. The sharpness is at 4. So that's the standard definition. Whoops, got off me. Uh, below all that you have color temp temperature. I'm not really sure what that is, but you can switch it to standard, warm, cool, or back to standard again. Down here you have advanced video, which brings you to DNR, black level extender, white peak limiter, flesh tone, adaptive luma control, and HDMI mode, audio. Oops. Oh wow. actually kind of cool. Oh, wow. I never actually messed with this part before. Kind of makes it very vibrant. Okay, but anyway with that, let's go, oops, let's go back. That's all of the picture settings, video settings, whatever. Now the sound settings, audio. You have your balance to, crap, it keeps going out. Okay. Okay, you have your balance uh, if you have it set to zero, it mixes the volume to be coming out of the left and right speakers uh, speakers equally. And if you put it all the way this way, it'll only come out of the right speaker or the left speaker. I'm not sure why you do that. And it has surround sound capabilities, which is turned on. Then the equalizer, which you can adjust all the hertz and gigahertz and all that stuff for the quality of the sound. Doesn't really have a good time of keeping the menu up, which is weird. Okay, then you have SPDIF type, which is set to Dolby Digital Surround Sound, or Dolby Digital Surround, whatever, whatever. And then audio, auto volume control, which is off. I hate this, it keeps going out. Okay, that's off. Now for... Okay, I have to exit out. Okay, now you have the actual setup settings menu. Your system settings li uh, language is, of course, English, Espanol, Francis, and English again. Ah, excuse me. Um, then you have screen mode. The mode you need to have for this TV if you're going to watch uh, cable television on it is you need to have it's set to wide, or it'll just look out of proportion. And then DPMS, I'm not sure what that does, but it's set on, so I don't want to mess with it. Then you set up your time. I'll go through that. Whoops. Man, I hate doing that. Okay. Your time set up so you can uh, hit your time and see what you do there. See what time it is. I'll go through that in a moment. Then you just reset all the settings you've made to the factory default settings. Ah, Alright. Now, that's the parental controls, so you can set a password, uh, ch like basically a V chip for channel block. Dang it, I hate that. Sorry about this. No, I don't want to input a password right now. Crap, okay, I won't do that then. <laughs> channel block, um, input block, and program block. So that's all for the menu. Now, the way I was getting out of it is you press the exit button right there. Now as for the time, 
you hit the little time button right here on the remote, and it'll display the time down here in the corner. Not sure if the time's correct or not. I'm wanting to say it is. Oh yeah. It's about 20 minutes off. Okay, and then you have, you can press the picture button and switch it from standard. Oops. Messed up there. Okay, standard. Why does it want to switch to volume? Oh, there we go. Pick, uh, cinema, user, vivid, or back to standard again. And then you hit, right here, the sound settings. You can have user, music, standard, speech, or back to user. My favorite's music. Then you can go and display, and it'll take away the HDMI thing, or put it back. You can, whichever one you want. Now, then you also have a sleep timer, which... Keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry for all this. Okay. Which you have 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30, 45, 60, 90, 120, 180, all the way up to 240 minutes of however you want, how long you want the TV to stay on. And then you also have a uh, mute. And here's your inputs. You have your S video input component one and two, uh, VGA, HDMI one and two. So it's pretty easy. Hit right here the input, right next to the little arrow. And something else. Oh, you also have a guide, which can't be used if you're using cable TV. But right here you have a guide button. So if you're using uh, standard antenna. Reception, you can uh, use the guide to see what different shows are on the different channels. And then you have your video playback option mode uh, buttons down here, your, such as your play, rewind, pause, stop, all that different stuff. And your aspect, you can also just do a shortcut of the screen mode. So I'll show you. That This is what wide looks like when you. Switch it to, let's see if I can do it. it. won't, it's not letting me do it. Oh well, I guess I'll just leave it. But, that's pretty much it. And you also can do, uh, switch between channels. You can hit the but last button and it'll, right there. Your new bathroom for your home. In a bath. It'll switch Typically between Typically now is when the judges announce a winner. It'll switch between uh, different channels, like if you're watching two shows at once, you can watch, for example, the Discovery Channel and then hit that, and it'll uh, switch you over to, uh, like, say, uh, Travel Channel. But it will not switch uh, back and forth from TV to input. That's something that is a disappointment, but oh well. And another thing this does not have is picture in picture, which I really was hoping it would have when I bought this, which it doesn't. I was kind of disappointed about that too. So anyway, and you also can, uh, right here, right here, put input your numbers like every, uh, TV. That's nothing new. <laughs> so, that's pretty much it of what this TV's settings and features are and what it's capable of. So, thank you for watching this and please subscribe, rate, and comment. Stay tuned in for more videos and peace out.